Welcome to Ranimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about the 1988 film The Kiss, which this is what spawned the curiosity, my skull's crooked, excuse me, for this movie because we got this prop replica in our BAM horror box and had no idea what the movie was about, had never heard of the movie. This looks interesting, does it not? So that spawned my curiosity. I found this movie streaming on uh, YouTube. It's actually like a filmed TV series that was put on YouTube, which is Joe Bob Briggs from Monster Vision. I think it was the last call with Joe Bob Briggs episode. And I got to watch the edited for TV version with a lot of commentary from him, you know, in between commercial breaks and everything, he'd kind of give a rundown and tally up, you know, how many boobs or kills or scissors through the neck there are. So that was entertaining. I thought it was funny uh, watching it that way because he was talking about Lake Placid being filmed at that point. And that, that was quite a while ago. So this movie has like 700 storylines going on at once. It opens up with a family. Uh, they get split up. The one daughter goes with the aunt. The other daughter stays with the father. Uh, their mother is no longer with them, sadly. And the daughter that goes with the aunt gets the kiss from her and uh, passes some horrible something to her and turns into, like, a just shriveled up body. So now... I think her name is Felissa, Felisa, whatever. I'm thinking, I have Felissa Rose on the brain. Um, she, you know, becomes estranged from her sister over the years, flash forward, God knows how long. And it is Amy's, I think it was her confirmation. I was asking the groom a lot of questions because he was raised Catholic and I was raised a uh, heathen and I don't have any perspective on religion. So, um, out of the blue, uh, she calls up her estranged sister, whom, uh, is Amy's mom and is kind of like, it's time we need to do this. She's, you know, very reluctant to have her come to the home and she leaves during the party to go get more soda, but ends up in some really like crazy freak car accident and, uh, is gone. So oh, there's a cat over there doing some weird things. There's uh, of course, you know, she pops up anyways and she's kind of sneaking around watching the funeral. They go to put flowers on the grave. How many months later and bump into her, they introduce each other. She stays at the house for a little bit and things just get weirder and weirder. Amy's really uncomfortable around her and it seems like it's a mixture of her just not completely being, you know, okay after losing her mom, which has got to be a hard thing to come to terms with. And then another woman in the house and she feels like she's influencing her father a whole lot. She's just not cool with any of it. So there's a lot of unexplained happenings and deaths that follow and we find out exactly what the kiss is and uh, exactly who this aunt is. So I'm going to leave it off there. There's just like so many things happening in this movie and some of them just don't get resolved and it bothers me because I like resolution. I'm a completionist. I need to know every detail and I didn't get it all. So what did I like about this movie? From what I could see with the gore that wasn't, you know, edited out for TV, it was really good. Um, there's this weird little cat creature in there that's like not the best looking, but I appreciated it and it was very, uh, tenacious in trying to do what it's doing. That was cool. Um, if you have a fear of escalators, this is probably not the best movie for you because like it makes that fear very real and you know, what happens if the, the kill switch doesn't work on the escalator and you're stuck. Yep, cat's just breaking things in my house. Um, so I'll just go into my dislikes. Uh, at no point did I ever recall seeing this prop replica ever. I feel as though if they were going to do a prop replica from the movie, they could have used the little talisman 
that they constantly alluded to and showed throughout a big chunk of this movie. Never once did I see kissy skull lips anywhere. I don't know maybe if this is from a movie poster, but I looked at a bunch of movie posters and it seemed like it was like a half face thing with like a normal face and a skull face. It's fine. But like this, this, I didn't see this and I was very confused and I kept Googling the movie thinking maybe I'm not watching the right one, but that this is the movie that kept coming up. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. And let me know if there is a different movie with weird little deities and weird cat creatures and aunties popping up out of nowhere and a nurse named Brenda that lives next door to you. What? 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 I don't get it. Um, the acting in this movie, not solid. Um, Amy's acting was terrible. There was one part in the movie where she's in the pool and she's trying her hardest to get out of the pool. And then they show you from another shot and she's literally like half a foot away from the pool steps. Like you couldn't just like reach out and pull yourself over and then just climb out rather than trying to like hoist yourself out of the deep end. Like I was a swimmer. I get it. It's sometimes really hard to pull yourself out of a pool when you're tired and things are happening, but like just shimmy to the side a little bit, like get yourself out. Like what? I don't get it. There were a lot of really poor choices made in this movie. And I understand that, you know, they had the characters make them so it could go to like this horrible scene that's going to happen. And it's going to be gory and scary and cringy. But like when my feeling of like, this is the dumbest thing ever overwhelms my joy for gore. That is a problem. And I was, I'll, I was pretty disappointed about that. Um, I feel like, I don't know. Amy's character was just, she was so annoying. And a lot of the, like the other teenagers in the movie were really annoying. There is a part it's in the beginning when they're having the party for her confirmation this like bad boy comes and brings her a cake and he's like, Oh, who's the angel and opens it up. And she's like, Oh, that's me. Like, this is my party. Welcome. I'm Amy. And he goes, Oh, my studs missing and looks down and it's in the effing cake. And she reaches in and grabs it and puts it in her mouth to clean it off and gives it to him. That's disgusting. I have stretched ears. I know what happens inside of those. And I would never put that anywhere near my mouth. It is not sanitary. It's disgusting. There is like, what? Like just gross, just disgusting. If you have any piercings, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have your septum pierced and you play, find that smell sometimes, you know, you know, you know. Like that made me want to vomit. That was possibly the most horrific part of this movie was her licking another person's earring. And then he also licked it like, ew, that repulsive. That's, that's my takeaway from this movie is I'm scarred from someone licking an earring, <laughs> not like someone almost getting sucked into an escalator or, um, being burned terribly or anything like that. Like, that should tell you something about this film. I understand it's a cult classic. That doesn't mean that I have to blindly love it. And I honestly did not. Um, originally the groom and I had, uh, like lined up a whole bunch of movies to watch together because I'm off this weekend and we don't get to spend a lot of time together because I work a lot of overtime. And, um, I think he made it maybe 15 minutes in until I heard snoring and there's only so many times you can jostle someone and they're just like, man, this movie's terrible. So I just let him sleep. I think he's still sleeping. So, you know, ended up having to watch it by myself, which kind of like saddened my mood. And then the movie just like, also the pacing, the pacing was not good. <clears throat> it felt like it took a really long time to get anywhere. There is a cool scene when she's in, um, uh, probably like an anatomy class and they have like the, the half like normal part of the teaching mannequin. And then the other side, you know, has like 
the musculature and the, the skeleton and everything. And there were lungs and a heart and you could see the lungs expanding and the heart beating. And that was really cool. Like I loved that, but like, it just seems like there was so much buildup for these really cool short little scenes. And it just like it, the cool parts didn't last long enough for it to be okay for me to continue watching this movie, just waiting and waiting and like, you know, when things are going to happen. So it was a little frustrating, like definite pacing issues, like not even for someone that has a short attention span, like definite pacing issues. But, um, I'm, I'm not even completely sure what the aunt was at this point. Like, was she a witch or a demon or like a vampire or what? Cause she had a familiar, but then she also had a talisman, but she would do spells, but she was like, I don't know. There's a blood thing. And I don't know. What are your thoughts on this movie? Have you seen this movie? Leave me some comments down below. Did I watch the right one? Is it supposed to go with this? Let me know. Cause I'm very confused. I'm confusion. Um, I'd probably rate this like, I don't know, a two out of five because I did really like the gore and I know I missed a lot of it watching like the edited version, but what, what are you going to do? I could not find this anywhere other than on YouTube. And I, I do feel a certain way about watching full movies on YouTube because I do want, you know, artists to be paid for their art, but like maybe not this one. Like maybe it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, where can I find this movie streaming in its full form that I don't really have to pay a lot of money for? Uh, I, I saw that it's available on physical copies. So if you're really looking for this, just Google it. I think it was on eBay. Um, yep. So if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. Don't forget to like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you have cats in your house that just like to knock things over while you're recording and you can't stop them, but uh, I love cats. Um, yeah. <laughs> You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom and podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well that probably don't have super rambly reviews that are all over the place. But I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you later. Mwah. Get it? The kiss. Haha. <laughs>